Being minus seven in this game is a really just strange situation. So being able to jail your opponent, flawless block, and make the right read from being minus seven is one of the most important things you're ever going to run into in this game. You can make the right read from minus seven every time. Shit is OD. Alright, so... If you play Gears... You have a six frame down one. Six frame down one means you can punish anything that's uh, minus seven on block. With Jax, this is one of the most important things to know. Because... Not every character can punish minus seven. There's only four characters in the game. So this applies to Gears, this applies to Terminator, Sub-Zero, and Aaron Black. Right? The same exact thing will apply. So if you play any of those characters, this video is for you. Now. Uh, normally. Right? Let's say like Jax. You're going to see this move a lot. You're going to block this move a lot. Right? A lot of characters cannot punish this move. Right? Garrus and those other three characters that I mentioned can. And then you get hit advantage of double digits to properly take your turn. Right? What happens, uh, for those of you that may not know, if you do challenge with the seven frame button, there's two, there's a few things that can happen. Right? So Garrus has a seven frame stand one. Right? So let's say I just try and crouch. I can't. Right? It'll just jail me. Right? And then you do 1-1 one, one into temporal advantage. Right? And then that's a punish. Right? I also have the option to flawless block. Right? I can flawless block up to... In some cases, this may not always work because mine is a bit slower. So, like, Sub-Zero can 1-2 and that will not work. So, I have to up 3. But that's what happens when you have a 7 frame because... You can't just outright punish me. I'll just block. So having a six frame is one of the best things to happen against Jax because this not only applies to this move, but it applies to my strings too. Right? So I'm putting back on doing down one. Let me see. It's a little hard to to time because uh, I, I got to do this the other way, actually. So I apologize. Just give me one second. Let me do. Yeah, so I'll do it this way. So that punishes. And then I can just jail. I can jail. I can command grab. Right? I can do all that kind of shit. Uh, this is pretty much... Like, you don't gotta play the, the flawless block, uh, like, mix-up with Jax and shit. Right? You can wait for this. Right? He's minus seven. If you're Gears, punish. It's two percent. It's two percent punish and frame advantage. Right? That's really, really important. It's really, really important. Uh, consider that if you have a six frame against Jax, you probably beat this character. Not gonna cap, you probably beat this character. But that also goes towards like uh, any of the character strings that have like that are minus seven. So like it's important against like Liu Kang, you know where uh, forward three four by itself is minus seven. All right. So consider that uh, your punish. Your punish is is uh, having frame advantage, but like frame advantage in, in in a sense where you can like create like a dominating sequence. So that's your like your your real punish against them, against characters like that with those kind of moves. So if you play any of those four characters, like I said, Gears, Terminator, Sub Zero, Aaron Black, if you play any of those, that this applies to you. This definitely applies to you. So. Consider that. Thank you all for watching.